All right, well, Redivis is keeping me busy uh, sending me radios. So this has been sent into the channel for review. Uh, this is the new RA79. And, um, you know, every time I step out the front door, things are about twice as expensive as I think they should be. Um, these things seem to have been getting cheaper. So uh, I think I think this kind of lists for the $30 range, something like that. But I saw on eBay, on the actual Redivus channel on eBay, these going for 21 bucks. So th <laughs> that's just that's just still <laughs> silly, silly money. Anyway, it is a dual band uh, HT ham radio. Um, five watt. Um, it's got a nice form factor. It's got a a, a, a big display. Uh, it's got a big giant knob on the front, so that's kind of that's kind of nice, uh, easy to grab a hold of and find. Um, it does come with all the accessories. Um, I'll take a look in the box. Comes with the manual. Comes with the programming cable, uh, charger. Comes with the belt uh, clip on the back. Comes with a uh, comes with a drop-in charger. Um, that's fine. Yeah. So it comes with the antenna and everything. All right. So what is it? Is a um... okay. Let me uh, turn this off. Okay. So. Um... We can go into the FO mode. So it's it's got uh, 144 megahertz and 440 megahertz built into it. Plus, it has uh, other uh, extended uh, range, uh, extended frequencies for receive. So it can receive the weather channel. It also can receive the aircraft band channel on AM modulation. So I will I will demonstrate that. Um, it also has. It has a FM uh, broadcast band. 104.9 is our, uh, our uh, local uh, station here. So, uh, battery is uh, pretty hefty. It's a 1400 milliamp hour. Not the biggest, but 1400 milliamp hour. I like the, I like the way that it attaches. Um, it's, got a, it's got a light. Uh, let's see here. Turn this on. Yeah, it's got a, it's got an LED light, flash and stuff. Um, it has standard uh, Baofeng style double thing programming cable. So that's standard. You could probably use any. Uh, here's a nice feature. It has a USB-C charging port, so you don't have to, you don't have to carry around your. Um, your drop-in charger plus it's under a little rubber cap keep the rain out so that that's super nice um i think it's five watt but i believe it has a high medium and low power settings so we will we will test that out and then uh, i think you know for this price point and everything um if it can pass the spurious harmonic test then i think this is a clear winner uh, you know, throw away your Baofeng and get one of these. Um, yeah, I think next, uh, let's go ahead and test the antenna. See if they got, see if they got that right. Um, so it seems like a lot of the Chinese radios are, are, are using a particular design that really isn't right for, uh, for a two meter, uh, for a, I mean, for a dual band, uh, HT. So yeah, let's test this out. All right. I've attached the antenna to the field Fox and, uh, there are two dips at uh, VHF and UHF. Um, they're not exactly where I would hope they would be. Uh, I'll show you some pictures here. Um, yeah, so this is both dips. And then uh, I'll zoom in on the VHF side. You can see what it does on the, on the actual um, 144 to 148. And then I'll zoom in on the um, UHF section, and you can see what it does there at 70 centimeters. So, yeah, I think these antennas could be better. Um, don't know where they get these, or if they're uh, centered on ch Chinese frequencies or, or European frequencies. I'm not quite sure. 
All right, I have an, uh, an external antenna hooked up. Let's listen to the weather channel here. Uh, let me go to the other channel. At Lover's Point, Wave Rider buoy in Monterey Bay. Water temperature 59, seas 3 feet every 7 seconds. At Monterey buoy, winds northwest at 14 knots. Water temperature... Okay, and then let me, uh, let me put the uh, standard antenna on. And let's we'll see how it works with... Uh, with just the duck on. Welcome. Frequency mode. Into 21. Water temperature 60. Pressure 1015.0 millibars. Here are the coastal observations for 10 a.m. Yeah, so uh, it seems to have a good receive for the uh, for the weather channel with the standard antenna. Okay, I wanted to give a demo here of the aircraft mode, uh, aircraft band. Um, it does work fine, but it's quite noisy and doesn't seem to be quite as sensitive. So let's wait until we get a good uh, a good conversation here, just to just to compare this with a with a radio that that has a good uh, aircraft band in it. All right, so let me move it over to the other radio here. You can hear what, uh, what the tower sounds like. So that was the, the airport here on a Yesu FT3D. All right, so that was the uh, Redivis. You can hear the, the, the AM demodulation is very, very noisy. Um, it's got a lot of hiss on it. It does work fine. There's no funniness breaking the squelch or anything like that, but uh, yeah, it does have noise on it. All right, let's test the output power here. First we'll do, uh, oh, we'll do 440 first, since that's what I have on the radio here. This is high power, do transmit test. High power is two point, yeah, four watts. We'll call it four watts. Here's low power, 0.88 watts. And here's medium power, 2.7, 2.17 watts. Okay, um, let's do 440. I mean, uh, what, geez, can't talk today. Uh, 146 megahertz, all right. This is high power, 3.7 watts. Uh, low power, 0.86 watts. Mid power, two watts. So call it 0 0.8, 2, and 4. Uh, that's about what the uh, power is in this thing. Okay, let's test the uh, spurious emissions of this thing. We'll use the spectrum analyzer here. I've got my 10-watt uh, 10, 10 attenuator attached. And uh, here's some pictures. Uh, there's a little more spurs than I'd like to see. Um, here you can see the two meter spurs. Um, they're about 40, minus 48 dBc, dB carrier. That means that the spur is minus 48 dB below the big one, the, the uh, carrier. Um, and at 440 um, megahertz, the uh, spur is actually the third harmonic is the largest one and it is at minus 42 dbc so there you go a little high but they're certainly i think tolerable okay there you go that was my review of the redifus ra79 uh new little radio the price is right uh yeah it's okay um not crazy about the airband but it does have it uh so there you go everything else is good about it